Now we've got these points of interest. I wanna just show you what you can do with the images that you use to process the point cloud and how they are integrated into scan. You can use them to inspect certain areas. So for example, right here in the water, I see that there are some tubes coming out, uh, maybe some pipes, I'm not quite sure. What I can do is get close and I can just open up the image viewer and then I could just select one of these pipes. So I'll just select this one right here. I will get the relevant images that are in the area and then I'll just select the image that I want to inspect. So this second image here looks pretty good I'll pick that the entire project will reorient itself to be in the same spot that the drone was when it took the image I get a reference to which image this is and the latitude longitude position of the image and there we go I can zoom in and take a closer look at this image and see what exactly is in the point cloud based off of the raw imagery I can switch over to the next image and the entire view will shift because that's where the drone took the image and there's the other image and same thing here I can zoom in and take a close look I can see there's some algae that's growing on these pipes probably because there's exposure um, and I can do some inspection to that and include it in my report if the client wants it. Now if I zoom out here I can see in yellow these are the positions of the relevant images that we are looking at in the point cloud as I click on different areas different images appear because those are the relevant images for that point on the point cloud. So yeah very handy very nice and again anybody can open this you don't need a software on your computer this is all on a web application with a shareable link. Right here here I can select the share sites button and then I can generate a link for anybody to then click on like you can by clicking the link in the description and play around with the point cloud using this link.